We have pancake in the back. Whoa. All right, this tank is really, really cool. So she saved this fish. Can we just look at how healthy it is now? Like, that's amazing. Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everyone. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we have a brand new video, and I am so excited to finally be filming again. So before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of you watching the video currently, and also everyone who sent in a picture of their tanks. Now, I plan to make this kind of like a series, so if you guys want, you can still send in pictures of your tanks, your fish tanks, your ponds, it doesn't really matter what it is, because I am trying to make this into like some sort of series, so you can go ahead and send in pictures to my email, fishnessfans at gmail.com. You can go ahead and send in emails there of pictures and stuff, and then hopefully I'll be able to react to them, review them, re... Rate them. I do just want to put out there that if your tank doesn't make it into this video, like I said, I am planning to make this a series, so don't worry. Without further ado, we have pancake in the back sitting sitting in there. We got some succulents that are half dead because I just don't have the green thumb apparently. Before we get into this, if you guys want me to make this some sort of series, kind of add some twists to it and everything, go ahead and drop a like for me if we get 300 likes. 300 likes, and I will do some sort of part two or some other type of reaction video to like tanks or your animals and stuff or if you guys want me to do other reaction videos i would definitely be interested to know because i'm kind of thinking about doing some of those in the mix of my other videos so make sure you guys drop a like and comment down below what you guys want to see from me just so i know what you guys want and other than that let's get into the video first up this person i'm not going to say like their full name because i don't know if they want that but Haley sent in let's see my 55 gallon community tank 10 gallon beta tank that has a little algae problem a five gallon pea puffer tank and would love to have them featured in one of your videos. So thank you for sending these in. Let's go ahead and take a look at these tanks. So first up, if it'll load, we have the 55 gallon community tank, I'm assuming. It looks like there's some mollies, platies, angelfish, barbs. It's a really nice tank. I really like the decoration in the middle. I think white decorations with the black gravel and green plants really stands out. I think it looks really good and flows really well. We have a really nice mixture of fish in there. Definitely could add some more, definitely like some inverts and stuff. That'd be really cool and some more plants, but love the first tank. Second tank right here, this is really cool. We have a beta tank right here with, it looks like some golden white cloud minnows. The plants are really nice. Got a sponge filter in there, plenty of air. Looks great. And I also really love the white sand as well. Then we have the five gallon pea puffer tank, which I absolutely love this layout. I love, again, the white gravel. I love the white gravel, the wood, the rocks, everything is perfect in there and the cute little pea puffer right there. Let me know if you're watching this, if you have a name for it. I'm curious to know if you do. Yeah, so those are the three tanks. Great tanks, I love them. Like I said, the setups are awesome. Your fish look really healthy. Moving on to the next one, we have Wild About Wilds, I think that says, I don't know, but I'll just read this really quickly. Well, thank you, Jen, for the really nice email. I will be responding to you. And right here, it looks like we have, it looks like probably like a 10 gallon tank. It looks like we have some guppies that are very pregnant, uh, some sort of snail, some other snails, and really nice plants. So great tank. I love it. I think your fish look really healthy. Everything looks really good. So when I was like coming up with this idea, I wasn't sure if I wanted to like rate the tanks or just review them or react to them. I'm not really trying to like you know, rate them because I don't think anyone's tank can be like rated poorly unless it's like, you know, just not the right setup. But that's just because obviously, you know, they don't have the knowledge, which is fine. So I think this video will hopefully teach some of you some stuff about different tanks and fish and stuff. But I'm not trying to like bash anyone's tank or anything like that because I think everyone just has to like learn and stuff. And a huge part of learning about fish and how to keep them is literally just owning them. Once you own them, you kind of learn a lot more. And yeah, I'm not trying to like rate the tanks or anything. I'm just going to kind of react to them, point out some stuff that I like, and yeah, we'll keep going. All right, right here we have from Shay a three and a half gallon tank with a filter. Um, and so right here is a beta tank, like I just said. Now, right off the bat, I just want to say, I can't exactly remember what I had read about it, but I think that like rounded tanks or bowls are like bad for fish because of like their eyes or something. I can't remember exactly what I had read. Maybe I'll put it up if I can find it. But if you do want to upgrade to like a five gallon, I'm sure your beta would love that. And you could probably even add in a couple tank mates with it. But I think a three and a half gallon, probably don't want to try and add anything because it isn't too much space for the beta to have like its territory while having other inhabitants. But I do really like the tank. I like how it's laid out. I would suggest switching to live plants and also checking the decor because that 
plastic log down there looks like it could be sharp. Um, so you definitely want to feel it and maybe even sand it down or just buy another decoration. Maybe even using just like real wood. You can definitely find some online for cheap. And also, like I said, the plants, if you can switch them to live plants, that would be even better because bettas love live plants. And unfortunately, the fake plants can hurt them. But your betta looks really happy. Looks like a really clean tank. So that's good. Next up, we have a five gallon betta tank from Elena, it looks like. Whoa, all right, this tank is really, really cool. So this is a five gallon tank. Um, it's a white betta, I didn't even notice it, but that must look really cool. Um, the filter looks good, everything looks good. Um, white gravel, again, I love it. You got live plants in there, it looks like, with that decor, which doesn't look sharp or anything, so that's also good. Oh, and you also have the leaf hammock like you mentioned which I'm sure your betta loves to go on there um, and swim through that log. I wonder where you got that decoration from. If you're watching this, comment down below where you got the decoration because although live wood is better, sometimes you need some decoration pieces like that. And I think, you know, that your betta probably really loves it. So that's a really nice tank. Love the size, love the shape, great tank. Oh, and you actually sent an updated picture which has, it looks like an algae cleaner, some moss balls, a thermometer, which is just perfect. Perfect tank, I love it. Next up, we have Kate. So it is a two and a half gallon tank. Uh, there's a small internal filter, got them three years ago. So this two and a half gallon tank right here. So again, it looks like you have some fake plants, but it does look like that the tall one is some sort of like silk, very soft plant. Actually, they may all be that, which is really good. You have a little hammock, you have, it looks like a little something on top. I can't exactly tell what it is. Um, the internal filter and you got some decorations in there very colorful um, I'm sure your betta loves it only suggestion I would have is probably to upgrade the tank it's completely up to you but I personally think that a three gallon is probably the smallest you really want to go with a betta because it also has you know the filter and you have decorations in there and stuff but your betta looks pretty healthy and happy so that's good it looks like there's plenty of airflow in there as well um, so yeah that's probably my only Oh, you did mention that you have a five gallon plastic bin. Um, plastic bins aren't the best. I think they're good for like temporary housing or like some sort of hospital tank, but I don't think for like permanent housing, they're that great. You could get like a five gallon, a five gallon um, bin from like Home Depot that's like completely black. That won't really mess with their eyes or anything. And you could probably add a lot of plants in there and kind of make it like a little pond situation with a sponge filter because those are pretty cheap but it's completely up to you and I think that your better will be happy. All right, next up we have Kirsten and said, I'm going to get live plant soon and fish as well. So let's go ahead and check out the tank. I don't know what size tank it is, but maybe I'll be able to tell. It looks probably like a 20 gallon tall, maybe even a 29 gallon or a 10 gallon. It's kind of hard to tell in this picture, but uh, we got the blue gravel, nice and colorful. Um, a bunch of decorations and they said they're gonna get live plants soon which is great so my only feedback for you is one to make sure your tank is cycled properly and you can do that with um, previous filter media or beneficial bacteria you can buy it in a bottle you can also throw in like some fish food and stuff but that definitely takes a little bit of time to decompose so you definitely want to make sure your tank is cycled properly and if you need some help with that you can go ahead and email me other than that I think it's really colorful and also just make sure the decorations again aren't too sharp because you don't want your fish to get hurt. All right, next up we have Paige. She sent in, I'm not sure what size tank this is. It looks like it's pretty big. So probably a 20 long maybe, kind of hard to tell. It looks like there's a few guppies in there. We got some plants, some decorations, and a betta log, which I'm sure your fish love because bettas love it, fish love it to swim into things, especially like little tunnels, makes them feel safe. 100% um, you could definitely add more fish. You could add more plants, more decorations. Again, just make sure the decorations aren't sharp. I love the tank. I think it looks really good and it also looks really good on top of that like shelf thing you have right there. It's a great tank. Next up we have Corn. We have a Glowfish tank. For starters, I love all the colors in there. I love all the decorations. I love the blue light. The only thing I have to say is again, check your decorations and also looks like you have some sort of Glowfish Tetra down there. Maybe some Glowfish Danio. I can't really see too much else and I don't know what size tank it is, but it looks really good. Next up, we have Rachel. This is a 10 gallon betta tank um, and she decided to send, oh, and there's Pepper the betta, which is a rescue. Wow. All right, so right here, like she said, a 10 gallon betta tank. I love the rock work, love the plants. All looks really amazing. Absolutely love it. And can we check out this difference? She saved this fish 
named Pepper. Can we just look at how healthy it is now? Like, that's amazing. Great job. Um, unfortunately, a lot of bettas, a lot of rescues don't survive because they just have so many problems. And like you said, yours had a lot of internal parasites, but you did a great job getting it back to full health. And I'm curious to see, to know what you use to really help the fish get better. So if you're watching this and you want to comment down below, I would be very interested to know what like products you use or whatever uh, to try and help the fish get better because that's a huge difference and props to you. Next we have some tanks from Jake. So we have a guppy aquarium, a crayfish aquarium, and a betta aquarium. And they're in Australia, which is really far away. So shout out to you. Um, I don't really know how many fans I have like around the world, but it's really always interesting to hear where you guys are from. For starters, the guppy tank looks awesome. You could definitely add more plants, but really nice fish. It looks like you got some a really bright like blue guppy, which I love the color blue, it's my favorite. Um, but yeah, really nice tank there. We got a crawfish aqua aquarium, I believe. Um, again, really nice tank. I really like your decoration, really nice. And I also like the mix of gravel. Then we have, or maybe I have these backwards actually. Okay, the last one has the betta in it, not the first one. The last one has the betta in it. And again, looks really nice. Looks like you have some neon tetras in there, a betta, and maybe something else kind of on that rock over there. But again, really nice tank. And you could even, if you want to, I just like how it looks better. You can even tuck in like the plant, like the bottom of it and put it in the gravel. Cause to me, it looks A1, it looks real. But thank you for sending those in. I really like your tanks. I think you're doing a great job. Next up, we have the Dark Bunny, and it is a betta tank. So they have snails, it looks like. They have the betta, they have a shrimp in there as well. Really nice, co like, community tank. Oh, there's seven ghost shrimp, a giant betta, three narrate snails, and three minnows. Now that is a very diverse community betta tank. That's really nice. Oh, and you got like some live plants growing on the bottom, like some sort of like small grass. That looks really cool. And the car decoration looks cool as well. Just make sure, you know, obviously it's not sharp. Awesome tank, love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there just because there are still so many more tanks that you guys sent in, which I am very grateful for. But like I said, if you have any other animals that you wanna send in, like dogs, cats, turtles, doesn't matter what it is, I would be very interested in kind of creating a series out of this. Um, and obviously adding more things to it this is my first time kind of doing like some sort of reaction video. So sorry if my reactions were a little dull, I do apologize. But I don't know, I really like all your tanks. You have some really awesome tanks and I get a lot of comments all the time about about how like my videos have helped you guys like learn more about fish and everything. And that is my goal is to help teach about animals from my knowledge and what I learned. So huge shout out to all of you guys for sending in some tanks. Also Pancake says thank you as well. And in that, I hope to see you guys soon in another video. I do have a lot of stuff planned, but I am also very, very, very busy and a lot of stuff is going on. So unfortunately I haven't been able to film much, but I hope to, you know, get this going. Make sure you guys hit that like button and let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this, more like kind of like build a series out of it. And other than that, I will see you guys, I think, I think that's it. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.